After a turbulent past year, Newport News Public Schools took time to celebrate the bright spots tonight. We've told you about school shootings, weapons on campuses, and teacher shortages stretching educators thin. But as Sarah Hammond reports, tonight was all about making sure the achievements of their students and teachers doesn't get overshadowed. It was a night of celebration in Newport News. We get to celebrate our children. They're all champions, right? Just in different ways. Between artwork, high school choirs, and elementary school drum lines, there was something for all 3,000 teachers, students, and parents to enjoy. We have some of them showcasing uh, things that they do, events that they're in. Sixth grader Henry Bennett says he's happy to be celebrating his peers' accomplishments. Make it as a community-wide bonding session, a session where everyone of any type, any race, can come together and be as one. Beyond the instruments singing and awards, Division Teacher of the Year Chanda Wood says it's hard to ignore the difficult year the division has had. Let's just be honest, our district has had an unprecedented event, right, that has been negative. In January, a first grader shot his teacher, Abby Zwerner, in her Rich Neck Elementary School classroom. Police say it was intentional. Nights like this bring us together and help us focus on the positive things because we're all still hurting. We're all still reeling from what has happened, right? Newport News School Board Chair Lisa Searles Law says she wants people to see that celebrations like this are what defines the division. What happened to our division in January is not indicative of who we are. Both women say they don't want the bad news even beyond Newport News to overshadow the good their students are putting into the world. And being able to show the best of what we have to offer. Sarah Hammond, 13 News Now. As Newport News students finish up their finals, the school board is still searching for the next superintendent. Board Chair Lisa Searles Law says the window for applications closes on Friday. The next step will be to meet with the Virginia School Boards Association on June 7th.